Hello. On today's tutorial, I'll take us on how we can extract zip files in Android 11 using our Sketchware Pro application. So, if you have the Sketchware Pro installed and you have created your project, next thing you do is you add an edit text, a button to pick the file, the zip file from the user's storage and a progress bar which will serve as the loading while the zip the zip file is being extracted so the edit test will serve as the part where it will be extracted to using a schedule so in our button click we pick the file so how do we pick file we create a component a file picker component by clicking component add component with map type as all so i just name my component pick you can set map type as all or you can set it as application zip both can work for zip files so it all depends on your usage then we add the pick five blocks and add our select our pick. Then we add on on five picked. Sorry, we add our on five picked. Let's make sure this small block is added. It will serve as the extractor method, or rather the extractor function. So from Android 11 above, we are not allowed to access files. We are only allowed to access URIs. So we can get URIs. U, that is URI. So this is a URI. And when we, a user pick a file, Android doesn't return the file. What Android return is the URI. And to get the URI is using this. So now i set my uri to be equal to the uri the user gives me and it gives me from the user's action so i created a string called output parts which will store the parts where i'm saving extracting it to so the users pick from so i'm extracting it to output parts in editors one and we add a a slash either you use an editor swan or you use this block use this block and save it in document directories or download directories it all depends on your usage both can work so I'm saving it in in DCMI for the purpose of this tutorial I'm saving it in DCMI so I've already set my URI to be equal to the URI Android gives me from the user's operation. Then, while I'm using all this long code, normally, the only code needed to extract it after getting the URI is this. But when the file is large, it will slow down your application and your application will lag. And we all know users don't like a slow application. So what we do is we use a class called async task that is we run the task in background so while the task is being run this happens so anything that you want to happen when the task is being run you put it under this progress bar set visibility block to visible so when the background task is running we unzip from uri to output parts so when the tax is done, we remove the progress bar to gone and we toast unzipped. So let's test the app and see how it is. So I first add my part, sorry, for the mix up, add my part.
so I created a random folder an empty random folder empty folder but please note that from Android 11 we don't have access to that part so that's why in the project I'm using DCMI so I pick the parts, the file, sorry, I pick the zip file. Any zip file. And then I extract it. So it's currently extracting. So it has been started and we check the empty folder we see the the zip file extracted here we can also extract more files to that part so the smaller the files the faster the extraction Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, comment and share. Project is available in the video description. Thanks for watching.